So we're going to demonstrate how to set up the um, telescope. Of course, it's daylight, so we're not going to be able to, to do a real alignment on it, but you can at least understand the basic way it works. First of all, you have to do is you have to level the tube, and you can do that manually because it's got clutches in there to protect the OTA. So I aimed it, made it kind of level. So right now it's level. I also have it aimed pretty much north toward the North Star. So those are the two things you have to do before you even turn it on, those two things. The next thing you have to do is go ahead and hit your on switch and then come a little closer and you can see the hand controller. As soon as it boots up, um, it will ask us what kind of alignment we want to do. You hit enter. It asks you the alignment method you want to use, two star auto, two star alignment. And that's the one I use more than anything else. I hit enter for that. It asks you what time it is, and I have a question mark instead of a seven, so I better, see that question mark? I better, I better dial that in. 17 military time, I'm gonna say 20. Okay, and I'm gonna leave the end. Say enter, daylight saving time. Okay, then it asks you the date, so it's 010725, that's right, so I'm just gonna hit enter. Okay, and then it asks you what star you wanna do first. Well, Polaris is aimed north, it's already aimed north, and Polaris is right up in the sky. So I always use Polaris because it never changes in the sky. So what I'll do is I'll hit the motor speed at 9, and then I'll aim the telescope up toward it. Now, I've already turned my finder scope on. It's kind of important because you're going to need that to line up on Polaris before you do anything. And that's roughly where Polaris is going to be, right there. I, it's, I can't see it, so I can't show you exactly. But that's basically where it's going to be, right there. So you line it up, you get the finder lined up, then you get in the eyepiece and line it up because these two are in sync with each other and should be pretty close. As soon as you do that and it's lined up, well, first you have to go and scroll to, uh, I better choose my star first. So let me go back and choose Polaris. I'm fritting around here until I get to it. Oh, there it is. Polaris, boom. Do you see that? It tells you to center it, so you hit enter. You use the keys to make sure, and you slow it down. You hit motor six to slow it down, and then you use these keys to get it dead center in the red dot and also the eyepiece, and as soon as it's dead center, you hit alignment, and then it'll ask you what next star you want to use. Well, the next star you want to use is to the right, and it's called caster, and we're going to do that one next. So we're going to flip around until we get to caster. I'm just going to keep hitting the button. It's going to go through a bunch of stars. And eventually we'll get to Castor. Oh, there's Capella. Oh, it didn't let me choose Castor. Hold on, let me... Maybe we did Capella. Oh, there it is. Let me make sure, because we might have done Capella. Oh, I can't look on that, can I? I'm going to guess. I'm going to act like we're going to use Capella instead. So what you do then, once you choose Capella, it should be over here somewhere. You're going to hit the motor speed, 9. And then it moves real fast, and you can slew it over to where Capella is. Use your um, phone app to show you exactly where it is. And then you use the telescope to get it lined up. You use the finder scope right here to get it initially. The red dot will get you right on it. And then as soon as you see it dead center in the red dot, you look through the eyepiece, and the uh, star should be pretty close to the center. When it's close to the center, you just want to get it dead center, Using the arrow keys, that's about where it would be. I'm going to aim it up a little bit more. Use the arrow keys to get it. Slow it down. Motor, 6. And then use the arrow keys to get you exactly center in the eyepiece. And then you hit enter and alignment. Now we know it's going to fail because we didn't really aim at anything. Center alignment. Capella. Boom. Oh, it failed. We kind of expected that. So that's how you do it. That's how you do the alignment. From this point on, you should be able to um, use the computer to find what you want to look at. Now, what might you want to look at? Maybe a deep sky object. Named objects. I just hit deep sky. Named objects, you hit enter. And there's all kinds of things you can look at. The Andromeda galaxy, the Whirlpool galaxy, the Veil Nebula. Um, things that you can actually see are going to be like the Orion Nebula. Let me get to that. There's a Rosetta Ring Nebula. You can see the ring. That's real. That's real obvious to see. Ring Nebula. Um, Pleiades, a beautiful star cluster. You can easily see the Pinwheel Galaxy, the Owl Nebula. Oh, Orion Nebula.
It's in that great big, you know the one that looks like a big hourglass in the sky? It's right in there. You can't miss it. It, it. Matter of fact, if you look for it, you can see it with your naked eye. So you go to Orion and you hit enter. Well, it ain't going to go because it don't have no alignment. <laughs> uh -huh. But that's what you'd have done. You'd hit it. It would have went straight to Orion Nebula and you could have had a look at it. So that's pretty much how easy it is. That's it.